Hey there Aries, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thanks so much for being here, really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general weekly reading. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as information for my Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. So um, I've been offering additional content on Patreon. I've been offering weekly readings uh, for each sign. So what I'm doing now is... Um, I'm switching them over to kind of like episodes, so they're going to be a little more lengthy over there. Um, so if you guys would like to check that out, that's going to be starting up uh, pretty soon. Like I said, there are already readings over there weekly for each sign, uh, but you know, coming up probably next week, um, they're going to be a lot longer. So if you want to check that out, the link's going to be down below. Okay. So let's check the Aries, Aries, Aries. Two of Wands is the first card out. Uh, that is your energy. So I do feel like you guys are one step away from something here. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a decision you have to make. You're, you're one step away. You're so close to something here um, is what I'm getting with this card. There's something you want to kind of analyze a little more carefully, though, is something else that I'm getting here. Uh, you really want to look at the bigger picture before you make a decision or before you move forward. You really want to analyze like the fine print, the small details, um, things of that nature, okay? There could also be some signs that you're looking over, okay? Um, there could be some signs that you're looking over um, when it comes to a connection, okay? When it comes to a person. Yeah, there are messages hidden. There, there's something here that you, that you just didn't catch, okay? That's something that you're going to want to, um, you know, reflect on, right? So, I do feel this is fairly new, all right? There's something here. I just feel the energy of, like, a slip-up um, that maybe you didn't quite catch. Or somebody's just revealing themselves to you in some way. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a slip up, but somebody's revealing something and it's kind of big and it doesn't seem like you are, you know, fully present as they're revealing that, okay? Um, so let's look at what else we're doing here for you, Aries. What else? What else for Aries? What else for Aries? Some of you guys may be planning something here. You might be planning an event for someone, okay? Pay attention to, you know, their preferences and their songs and things of that nature um, if you're planning something here for a person. Okay, what else for Aries, please? What else for Aries, please? Okay. We're getting three cards here, so I like it. Okay, um, we're getting the Ten of Cups, that's Pisces energy. We're getting the King of Wands, Leo, in the world, fixed, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Um, I'm getting really heavy Aquarian energy. Um, I don't know why I almost said you guys might be on the cusp, because that's not, I don't know, that's very strange, because <laughs> you guys are Aries. Um, so yeah, I don't know who I thought I was talking to there. Uh, but it seems like something, you're, you're trying to go after something here. Um, I do want to clarify the world card. Or you're looking in on something here. You guys, there's this energy of, you know, this King of Wands is just really, you know, slumped over looking here at this Ten of Cups, and it just seems like a really disappointed energy to me, or just a very bitter energy that I'm getting here, Aries. It's almost like when the world is showing up, I'm, I'm almost getting this like feeling that you feel as if like the grass is greener on the other side of the situation here. Um, you know, what is that quote that I'm getting? What is that quote that, what is it? It's something about like comparing um, like your worst uh, scenes to somebody's highlight reels or something like that. It almost seems like this energy of, you know, watching whatever it is that people put out there. What is that other quote? 
I'm trying to think of it. Something about chat. There's, there's a chapter. There's there's always a chapter that you don't read out loud or something like that. I just always feel as if you guys are envying someone a little bit or someone could be envying you, okay? Um, but, you know, you, you, there's there's someone here I just feel as if you're, you're seeing them as someone who just has this perfect life. They get everything they want. Um, and with the world card being here, it, it is, you know, it does talk about the other side. You want to be on the other side of this energy. Um, so that's something else that I'm getting here as well. Some of you guys just don't click, you don't vibe with someone because of this, because you feel like they get things handed to them, all right, and that's just not something that you resonate with, okay? You come from very different backgrounds when it comes to a person who's approaching you as well or who has approached you. What else are we getting here for Aries? What else are we getting here for Aries for this situation here? All major arcana. High Priestess, that's not even going to focus. I really like these cards. I wish they were a little bit more bold in color because color really speaks to me as an intuitive, but I mean, whatever. I really like the pictures anyway. And then we've got the Fool, Aquarian Energy, and Judgment, Scorpio, and uh, Fire. So, I mean, I feel like you're misjudging a situation. I feel like you're too ready to leap and assume something here, Aries. Keep wanting to call you Pisces. Um... With the judgment card coming out especially um i just feel as if you're not seeing it from their level all right the high priestess there's a lot going on here that you that you're not really aware of or a lot has gone on here you know especially if you're just meeting someone and they seem like they have everything together they get a lot of help you know whatever whatever it is here that you may be you may be jealous of um or this, you know, this could be someone that you're connected with. I almost just feel as if, you know, there's just, there's a lot you don't know, okay? There's a lot that you don't know. Everybody has their struggles, so that's something that you want to keep in mind here, all right? Um, I also just get this sense that there could be someone who puts on this Ten of Cups front, you know, that everything is fine, that they're happy, and everything's going swell and wonderful, and they have no worries and not a care in the world, and behind closed doors, it's totally different, you know? It's a totally different energy. Um... So that's what I'm feeling here as well. What's going on with this two of wands? What's going on with this two of wands? See, like I said, I just feel like you're you're not, you know, you're not inside this globe here. Like you're not inside this situation to be able to judge it constantly. Like I feel you are here, Aries, for some of you. Okay. What's this two of wands about? What's going on with this two of wands? I'm getting something else from this. What's going on with the two of wands? Okay, so we're getting the Six of Swords, Aquarius, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, and the Death card, Scorpio. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of move you guys are trying to make for sure. I mean, you've got Death, you've got um, the Six of Swords, that's Mercury and Aquarius. Um, and you know, when the Death card shows up, that's Scorpio. And you know, it's talking about like ending cycles, beginning something else. And this could really be anything. It could be a cycle within you. It could be like a toxic cycle. It could be, you know, moving jobs, moving homes. It could be anything. It's just an ending and a new beginning in general, right? But you've got the King of Pentacles smack dab in the middle here. I feel like I'm just getting this energy of having to have patience, okay? Yeah, I almost feel like you're going to have to really sit down and analyze things here when it comes to this this King of Pentacles clarifying this Two of Wands. I almost feel like this is something financial. You're going to have to sort through finances here. There's going to be, I don't really want to say scraping. That's not the word that I'm, that I'm trying to spit out here. What's the King of Pentacles about? What's the King of Pentacles about? You know, there's a two here. It's about balance, okay? Um, you're going to have to budget. <laughs> you're going to have to budget is what I'm getting here, okay? Um, when it comes to some kind of booth that you're making. This could even be like a vacation that you're planning for here. Um, tell me about the death card, actually. What's going on in this death card, please? Again, like with the analytical energy, I feel like you guys are very attached. Like it, there's almost an obsession going on here, Aries. And again, this could be someone that you're connected with. So 
you know, whatever. If it doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't resonate with you. But I feel like there's somebody's situation that you're just looking at from all angles, like, you know, it's too good to be true, you know. And I honestly feel it with this devil card on the bottom here and the death card showing up here. There's something destructive about this, whether it's, you know, self-destructive on your end to sit and think on it, probably. But, you know, there's something else destructive about this situation that they're in and about and about the secrets they keep, okay? Yeah, there's someone here with a really with just a really dark past. This King of Pentacles energy. Some of you guys need an oil change as well. There's something here, just random. Uh, we're getting the Two of Cups, the Chariot, and uh, the Three of Wands. I feel like you're going to be taking that next step, okay? Okay, uh, for some of you guys, there's going to be like a key exchange or something of that nature here. Um, you know, there, there's some kind of exchange going on here in this card. You've got the Two of Wands as well. Some of you guys are going to have to decide... Um, you know, because the next step from the three is the four. Some of you guys can be moving in with someone here. Uh, but you move from the two to the three. So you put, you're putting a plan into action here. Um, definitely. is something that I'm seeing here. There's an emphasis on health here as well. Something else that I'm getting. There's like some overindulgence going on with this devil showing up. What's going on with the devil? I just got drawn back to the devil all of a sudden. What's, what's going on with the devil here? Eight of Swords, Six of Wands, Four of Swords. I'm getting influence, okay? With with the six of with the six of wands showing up, I'm getting influence for some reason. This is Leo energy, okay? Got the eight of swords here, Gemini energy. I almost feel like you're you're in a loop here, okay? Four of Swords, Libra. Why do I feel like you're in a loop? You're in a bind is what it is. Um, tell me about the Four of Swords. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is telling me about the Four of Swords. I feel like for some of you guys, you're feeling really controlled, okay? So this could be someone who like gives you a place to lay your head, all right? That could be what this influences. Some of you guys, you're just... Some of you guys just feel as if you're having to be someone you're not or you're having to just agree to things that you don't agree with or do things you don't want to do. Um, yeah, you feel like you're being controlled in a situation here. Um, don't like that. Maybe this, yeah, I, I think for some of you guys, you're planning a move because of this, especially if this is someone that you live with, all right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty major coming up here. So... And the Fool is showing out here as well. I see you guys freeing yourself from something. You know, maybe it's not the, the Ten of Cups that, that you're headed to just yet, but you're headed out of this Devil energy for sure, okay? What else are we getting here? Some of you guys are going to be moving in with a partner, or a partner is going to be moving in with you. You guys could also be helping someone move with the Three of Wands. That's delegation. Um, I feel as if some of you guys could be helping someone out here. What else is going on for Aries in these cards? That one really keeps bending. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Capricorn energy. Let's look at it. Can we talk about the Four of Pentacles for Aries, please? Let me look at the Four of Pentacles for Aries, please. What's going on with this Four of Pentacles for Aries? Queen of Swords on the bottom. Some of you guys could be in connection with a Libra. King of Swords right underneath that, or Aquarius. Um, this could be someone that you really thought was a counterpart, okay? Um, 
Now we've also got the Two of Cups up here, so I do feel as if some of you guys are moving out of a situation, like I said, and moving in with someone. I do get that pretty strongly because we got the Three of Cups, I mean Eight and Three of Cups showing up here, um, which I feel like you're leaving a situation and you're having a coming together, something to celebrate about, all right? And there is someone on the side here who's mad about that, okay? With the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands, there's somebody here who wants to say something, but they, they just don't know what to say, okay? Because you're moving on to a new beginning here. Queen of Swords, like I said, that's someone who's, th this person's waiting for you to speak okay they have a lot to say but they want you to speak first is how i'm getting this here okay four pentacles yeah you know they're holding on very tightly to their pride is what i'm getting here and to you as well okay but you know their pride's getting in the way of speaking or saying anything and i think it's yeah it's been over for a long time okay nine of wands i think they're they're honestly starting to realize that okay it might be sagittarius doesn't have to be um but yeah, they're seeing you walk away here, right here in these cards. They're seeing you head towards some new beginning, okay? And they're realizing how they were wrong in a situation here. But they're not going to say that, okay? But I do see you having some kind of celebration, some kind of harvest. So that's really exciting um, for you here, Aries. Um, so that's what I'm seeing. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. Um, again, if you guys are interested, I'm going to have some longer readings going over on Patreon here soon. Um, it won't be the next batch, but probably the batch after that, okay? So if you guys want to get in there... Um, the link's going to be in the description box down below. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for watching, and you all have a great week. Bye.